Hello, baseball fans. Hope everybody's doing awesome, staying safe. If you haven't hit subscribe, please do so. Really appreciate everybody supporting me right off the hop. So today we're continuing on in our series of vlogs where we talk about each team and their predictions for the 2021 season. We're going from worst to first, and today's number 27 on that list, and that belongs to the Arizona Diamondbacks. The Diamondbacks basically started to wave the white flag last season when they went on that disastrous 2-18 run at the end of the season, which led to them trading away players like Archie Bradley and really starting their rebuild. So the Diamondbacks are a bit of a mess. They're definitely figuring out how to rebuild. Management and ownership have said they have to slash and lower that payroll. So you can expect anybody who does have value, anybody who they can ship out to lower payroll is definitely going in the 2021 season, just like they started to do at the end of the 2020. And who are these players that could be shipped out? Well, let's talk with their lineup first, and it's going to be again led by Christian Walker. Now, outside of Walker, Arizona actually has an okay lineup considering the mess that they're in. They got Caleb there, they got Kentel Marte, they got Peralta, but any one of these players could easily be traded by the All Star break. In fact, I suspect multiple will. The only thing holding it up is their age. Arizona Diamondbacks have one of the oldest rosters in all of baseball, and if not, one of the oldest lineups in all of baseball. So it's hard to trade these guys away and get value back. And that's kind of the conundrum that Arizona is in. And this lineup better have some offense because the rotation for Arizona just stinks. It's going to be led again by Madison Bumgarner. And outside of Mad Bum, they do got Zach Allen, they do got Caleb Smith, but really nobody to scream about. And most people predict that they're going to have a collective ERA somewhere between 4.50 and 4.85. That's huge. That's very high for a rotation. And I'm thinking Arizona is certainly upset with the return they're getting on that $80 million contract with Madison Bumgarner. And their plan for 2021 is going to be how do we ship out Mad Bum and get rid of that contract. So no one even expect him to be around by the All-Star break. If they can get him out, they will. And they're not going to get a lot of help from their bullpen. You know, their bullpen's not great. It's one of the lowest in baseball. They lost Archie Bradley. They have done some signings, but nothing impactful. Nothing that's going to make up for the deficit and that high ERAs that are going to come from those starters. So Arizona, frustrating. Feel bad for those fans. They got to get that rebuild done. They got to figure out how to reset and how to really compete with some of these monstrous teams in the National League. It'll be interesting to see how they get that done. And my final prediction for Arizona this year, what's going to be their record? Well, I think it's going to be somewhere around 67 wins, 95 losses. They're going to be one of the worst five teams in baseball, but at least maybe they'll get a top five pick out of this. Fingers crossed, I guess, for that. Let me know what you think. Am I being too hard on Arizona? Did I put them a little bit too low on that list? Do you think there's some other teams like Boston that might perform even worse? Let me know in my comments below. I'm always interested to see what you guys think. More importantly, I hope everybody stays safe out there. We'll talk soon. Hit subscribe. Take care, guys. Bye now.